Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. So today I'm going to discuss about the report number 95 presented in Rajya Sabha. So it's not a rumor. There is a report presented in the Rajya Sabha that CET, the common interest test, is going to replace the pre-level exam or the phase one level exam of SSC tier one the IBPS, SO, IBPS, PU, IBPS clerk, SBA clerk, SBA PU and all the government exam. So there will be one entrance test for all the government level exams. Let it be IBPS or SBI or whatever. So let's talk about this report number 95. What it, it, it is all about. See students there will be, till now it is not accepted. What if this uh, these recommendations are accepted and there is a high probability that uh, these recommendations are going to be accepted. First of all, there will be a common test, common entrance test. So every year, the students who are preparing for government exams, they are, you know, uh, they are applying for like 7, 8, 9, 10 tests. Every year you are going for this much exams. And if you are uh, not able to crack the exam, you are, you know, if you if you failed in IBPS PO, then you will apply for SBI clerk or IBPS PO, uh, SBI SO, IBPS SO, Dina Bank, Fana Bank, and all that. But after the CET, every year there is going to be one exam, one exam only. If you are able to crack that, then you will be able to apply for. May there will be one exam for. Uh, first of all, there is one pre-exam for uh, for all the government level jobs. Then. For example, there is IBPS PU. If you have already cleared the CET, then you will be able to apply for IBPS PU means directly. There will be one exam of IBPS PU. There will be one exam of IBPS SO. There will be one exam of SBI PU. The validity of the CET is going to be two years. Two years is going to be the validity. And let's let's go, uh, get. In. I'll pro uh, provide the link to the report 95 in the description. So. SSE was asked to you know submit a report there are a lot of exams total eight exams uh, that are cancelled from 2013 to 2018 for the SSE CGL SSE CGL 1 and SSE CGL 2 they were cancelled SSE CGL 2016 tier 1 tier 2 they were cancelled MTSC 2016 was cancelled CAPF exam 2016 was cancelled the constable examination 2015 was cancelled most of the cases were cheating and the the question paper leakage so uh, i just gone through the newspaper today that even the the process of uploading the questions the you know data entry even that was outsourced by ssc even the S, there is no server uh, in the ssc premises everything is actually outsourced to sifi Sifi is uploading the paper, Sifi is having the servers in and they are having the servers in Chennai. So it is a big issue and SSE is not even doing a software audit. Big issues now. So that's why there is going to be a single agency who is going to oversee or supervise this CET exam. Just one pre-level exam. And then there are means level exams. So if you are able to crack the CET once, I mean the CET is going to be conducted one for 10th level and another for 12th level and the third one is for graduation level. The three different CETs will be conducted for 10th level, 12th level and the graduation, graduate level. So if you want to appear for, for example, IBPS PU, you need to appear for CET graduate level exam. If you are able to crack that for the next two years, you will be able to appear for all graduate level exams and there will be just one exam. So you don't need to appear for the pre-level exams again and again. So in case there is IBPS PO, appear for the pre-level exam. SBA PO, appear for the pre-level exam. That won't be the case. You just need to appear for the mains level exam. That's actually a cool thing. That's actually a very good thing. So exam pattern of CET a lot of questions were asking about what 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 is going to be the exam pattern of CET we are not really sure about it nobody is really sure about it the report 95 is not discussing about the exam pattern of CET according to me 
it is it is going to be same the same quantitative aptitude english and reasoning that is going to be an easy paper because that is a pre level exam so students uh, in case you are having any other doubt <coughs> then you can directly comment below right and please click the subscribe channel that is important for me even right now there is a cbi inquiry in that tier 2 exam leakage and you know uh, problems in the software the, the question paper was leaked and during the exam the the answers were marked for some few students and it it was happening so there were a lot of problems in the uh, sse so cet that won't be uh you know that won't start from 2019 right uh, from uh, so cet it is expected that from 2020 or after the march 2019 the cet will be implemented so there is a disclaimer till now it is not approved but i thought why not to share with the students about this report so the link to this report is available in the description you can download it from the official website also So students that's all for today please click the subscribe link that is very important for me click the like button and in case you have any doubt about this report you can comment below we are going to have a healthy conversation in the comment section so that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye